Hey, it's me, Ashley Mooney. Okay, listen. Okay, this is the I know this video. Like, bill. I noticed that bills. You know, like bills that you pay every month, once a month, every month for the rest of your life. That shit will have you doing shit that you ain't supposed to. Do. Okay, so y'all know that I'm an entrepreneur, self-employed. But I'm over it. I'm ready to get me a real job. I miss my 401k and my um my benefits and all that other stuff. But anyway, so until I can find me another job or whatever, a real job, you know, I'm still doing my, my yummy tummy thing. I'm still doing the festivals. I'm still doing the uh the private parties, the catering and whatever, birthday parties and stuff. Okay, so y'all know my birthday was Monday. So well y'all don't know. Well, whoever follow me and stalk me, y'all know. I posted it on all three of my pages so I have done some self evaluating or whatever and um, I'm changing a lot of things including my finances you know save more money so I can do the things that I want which is the restaurant and everything so okay so I'm moving I am moving cats out the bag I'm moving again so um, I got a little hook up on a situation let me tell you so I just got off the phone with Duke Energy, right? My current uh, electricity provider. I'm in South Carolina. And so the place where I'm moving to, you know, all I want to do is transfer services because I've already been with y'all for some years. Because I've been staying on my own since I was like 21, 22. And uh, I'm 30 or whatever now. So I should have some type of loyalty discount or some shit. And my bill is on automatic draft. So, yeah. So, anyway, so I call. I tell them I want to transfer my services. They say I can do it as early as tomorrow. I'm like, bet. That's great. Um, So, I can go ahead and start moving stuff in, like, over the weekend and stuff. Like, a little bit of stuff. I, I use the U-Haul truck for the big stuff. Well, anywho. So, fast forward the story. Or whatnot. <laughs> I called him. They gonna tell me to transfer my services. I got to put down a three hundred and six dollar deposit. I said, "What? What is you talking about?" She's like, "I said, why would I have to put down a deposit and I already um, I already uh got services with y'all?" She gonna say, "Well, how they do the deposit? Is, for, yeah, I wanna know. For, yeah, how and how the hell did you come up with three hundred something dollars?" Um, she gonna say that is they do the monthly bill they go by doing the monthly bill and then they times it by two so the monthly bill into the three bedroom two bathroom home that i'm moving into is a hundred and fifty three dollars a month so they times it by two so that's how they come up with the 306 lord it's raining that's how they come up with the 306 or whatnot and so she's like, well, you already have a hundred and seventy something dollars on your deposit from your current address where you're located at. Now all you have to do is just pay a hundred, another hundred and something dollars. So I'm like, God damn, like I already got to get a U-Haul truck. I, I, I'm moving to a whole nother town. So that's gas. Then I got to pay people to come help me move. Like this, it, this shit is just adding up. So that just made me mad. And I'm like, get Christmas around the corner. Thanksgiving coming up, so you got to buy food to take the other people house. You can't show up empty handed. Christmas coming up. I got all these little, I ain't got no kids, but I got a lot of little cousins and I got aunts and shit that used to buy stuff for me. So you know how old people is. You know they want their damn gift. Lord, I'm oh like, God damn, I said, Lord, it's, I'm trying to stay out these streets. I am. I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to violate my probation or parole or whatever the shit called. I'm trying to stay out these streets. Be on the straight and narrow. I'm just try, trying to provide a good home for me and my deep fryers. That's it. That's it. But a $300, a $306 deposit, that shit will make you realize. It'll make you... I see why... They, listen. I see why niggas is running in... Dollar General climbing through the damn roof at T Mart stealing cigarettes and breaking open the damn ATM. I get it, bro. I get it. You know, at first I was like, who the fuck stealing? Who's stealing cigarettes? You know what? Do what you got to fucking do. And if you got a couple cartons, you can slide them over here. Because damn it, I need to sell some too. $306? 
that ain't even the award I got in the, oh my God, the apartment that I was staying in, I was paying $600 a month, but at least that included the water bill. Now I got another damn bill. I got to pay the water bill on my own, the trash bill on my own, rent, and then, oh, it's just, Lord Jesus. This is, I know this. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. As long as you don't get hurt. As long as you don't hurt nobody. But whoever it is that's in Marion, filling out that shit, if you got a couple extra cartons, or right, if you would like to donate to the Yummy Tummy Fund, you can do that. I got to get these damn, this damn lots cut on. $306, that's a lot of money. Bye, y'all. Pray for me.